Claudia Jordan just wants you guys to stop attaching her name to Diddy in a negative way. And she wants you to stop talking about her best friend, Kathy White. She said it's not true. The rumors that have surrounded Kathy White and Jay-Z, she said it's not true. Check this out. Hey folks, welcome back. Um, I found this or I saw this on YouTube and I thought I'd bring it to you guys. It's courtesy of it's courtesy of all Urban Central YouTube channel. In the next clip, Claudia goes on to explain her brief interaction with Diddy. It was a brief interaction, but it was intense. Then she goes on to talk about her best friend, her well, the you know, best friend who is deceased now. And then after Claudia Jordan, I will share a 2011 blog from the Hollywood Street King about Kathy White and Jay-Z. Okay, check this out. Tell us, let's, let's face, uh, let me take on some of these questions because like, of course people keep putting in there, they, they think that there's been some lying on the Instagram, on the media, social oh, media, damn. that have said stuff about me, they kind of tie me to things and me, me as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I, 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 I don't know how many times I've tell you, I met Diddy one time. I was at the BET Awards in 2008, I think it was, when mm -hmm. MySpace was still around. Mm -hmm. um, I was at rehearsal, he was at rehearsal, and he comes up to me and says, um, what parties are you going to? So I was like, I don't know. What is, you know where the parties are? And he's like, yeah. So he got my phone number and I said he would let me know what the popping places were. I was like, cool. That's it. I went back to my my house, got changed, came back for the award show and I presented at the BET Awards when I was on the show Ballers. All right. It was a sports show on BET. Yeah. So when I was on stage, he texted me and says, you look so pretty. He's like, come backstage. We're all having drinks. It, it's a bunch of us. I was like, all right, I'm bringing my best friend Alta who introduced me to me. We go backstage. We had some drinks. I had one of them cheap disposable cameras. Okay, I said, ooh, can we get some pictures? We took a picture. Anyone that knows me knows how playful I am. I put my hand on his face like this, and he was behind me like, like, you know? And I put it on my MySpace, right? Um, He never called me that night to tell me what party he was going to. I didn't hear from him. The next day, I get a gang of text messages and phone calls from a new, the New York number, from his number, saying, baby girl, why are our personal pictures on, on Media Takeout? I said, what's Media Takeout? I didn't know what Media Takeout was at the okay. time. He was like, call Fred, gave me his bat line, and get this off. I go, get what off? I went and looked. It was like Diddy leaves Cassie for deal or no deal model. I was horrified. A, I don't, I don't do that. Second, the other girls. I'm very adamant against that. B, I don't want to keep touch with the Diddy like that. I was cool with Kim Porter. It was not a good look for me, and he just had the twins. So, anyways, I started calling, trying to get this taken down. This texted me 56 times in one day, and his moods went from baby girl, why are our pictures too? If I thought you did this on purpose, I would have had you hurt. And it got crazy. So I called him back one time with my publicist friend on the line. And she heard him say that he would make me disappear. So then I had to buck up back with him and said, look, don't talk to me like that. I'm not scared of you. This is before I heard about some yeah. other shit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hanging people upside down out of buildings. So I was popping off like, man, you ain't going to talk to me like that. And then he goes, what are you wearing? And his tone changed. And I go, what? I never talked to him again. He never called me after that. And I have the phone still. I just have to, like, I couldn't charge it. The charge port went dead. So I still kept it, right? I have it. So fast forward years later, I'm at Howard's homecoming. An SUV drives by me. And someone says, someone wants to talk to you. And it rolled down the window. It's Diddy. And he goes, oh, you can't speak? And I was like, oh, I didn't think we were friends after the last time I interacted with you. And that is it, you guys. I saw him in Vegas at a party where Jay-Z was there, Diddy was there, my friend Kathy White that y'all keep trying to tie me into her death. It is not true. She was not having an affair with, with uh, Jay-Z. She never told me she was messing with him. Matter of fact, when she died, she had a boyfriend. His name yeah. is Malcolm, and she died with him. I need y'all to stop this rumor that, that she was pregnant by Jay-Z. She never told me that. I never seen her pregnant. I seen her drinking. We went to Magic Mountain, Six Flags together, and was on the rise. These are not things that people that are pregnant by superstars do. No. They try to protect that feet. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So I need y'all to stop and people keep... Okay, let's get into the Diary of a Street King 2011 entry. He wanted her out of the picture. And shortly after he said that, the friend ended up deceased. This A-list host model is also an actress. Our hostess always stay quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced 
over the years that the permanent A-list rapper had her friend killed. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture. And shortly after he said that, the friend ended up unalive. Again, this was written in 2011. The story surrounding the death of Jay-Z's mistress, Kathy White, HSK exclusive, was the first to reveal that 28-year-old Kathy White was Daisy's mistress. Don't believe me? Ask Claudia Jordan. Yesterday, I got the news that Kathy Michelle White has suddenly passed away, so I quickly began my investigation, and guess what? Kathy did not... She did not die from a brain aneurysm, as reported widely around the internet today. According to an NYPD detective who told me Kathy's cause of death is uncertain and later today we will have the autopsy and toxicology reports. Right now, the death is considered suspicious. Kathy White died exactly one year to the day from when I broke the story of her and Jay-Z's affair. Here's exactly what the NYPD told me. A 911 call came in from an apartment on 130th West 19th Street in Manhattan. Ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They told her they took her to Beth Israel Hospital and that's where she expired. It was too early to be speculating that an aneurysm unalived her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death. But someone might have given Kathy a bag might have given Kathy a bad D. Oh, well, let me see. It's the stuff people take that make them go homeless. So they'll do a toxicology and we'll have to wait two weeks for that report. Wait, there's more. Two weeks prior to her death, Kathy was contacted by a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection. She gave them little information to go on. But according to one of our sources, following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair for a price. This all happened in the last two weeks. Then little more than 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's baby, this young lady suddenly dies under suspicious circumstances. Was Kathy trying to extort Jay-Z? I don't know. But if Jay-Z and Kathy had a phone conversation, the cops will be talking to him. Know why? Because Kathy's death is going to be investigated. Here's what a close friend of Jay-Z said. Are you kidding me? Jay had nothing to do with her death. He wouldn't throw his life away. Beyonce knows Jay F's around. Everybody knows. If Kathy was going to expose Jay, no one would believe her. Jay got too much to lose. The baby coming and all. Take Jay's name out of your conspiracy theories. I find it fascinating that this lady's autopsy report never came out. Neither did any of this fascinating information find its way to the media. Not even the Inquirer. There are several deaths associated with both Jay-Z and Beyonce. There was a bodyguard recently unalived. The media control in this country is amazing. So here is, he reported some gossip that he heard about Beyonce. Word is on the streets, Beyonce is not as innocent as you guys would like to think she is. I really don't know how true the story below is, but I will say I know for a fact more than 70% of the story below is true and there is more to the story that was not told. If you have ever wondered anything about B, here's your chance to find out. He said all the dirt. I just want these people to be accountable, so. <laughs> Rita Ora. Jay-Z and Beyonce have threesomes with new songstress Rita Ora. Beyonce and Rita have a close relationship, if you know what I mean. Beyonce likes to get it in with Rita without Jay-Z, which has caused strains in their relationship. Think about it. Why else would Beyonce, who is very insecure when it comes to other female acts, have Rita Ora, a pretty young thing, around her husband 24-7? Beyonce didn't like Rihanna, especially since Jay-Z had an affair with her, and that's why they are rarely photographed together even though beyonce and jay-z consider her a little sister oh my god then he talks about the rumor of beyonce not being pregnant that one you know 
I really don't like talking about it. I mean, I don't really don't like hearing about it because it's like, oh my god, like really. You know, I'm not gonna read that. But what I will do is attach this blog link to the description, and you can read it yourself because it's stupid. Okay, let's go to three. Kathy White, Jay Z's fingers are all over this. He got rid of her, and Beyonce is happy. That's all you need to know. Jay Z and Beyonce don't sleep in the same room. They try to play up a huge front like they are a picture perfect happy couple, but they can't stand each other behind closed doors. There is a power struggle. Beyonce wants control, but Jay Z needs it. Beyonce is not dumb as you think, it's a front. She is not a good speaker, but she is far from stupid. She hates that some people see her as a stupid singer and is trying to change that. Then he talks about Beyonce's oldest child, how um she has she has several nannies who take care of her and um they do all the hard work all beyonce wants to do is sing and dance and you know saying that she has she doesn't have a bond with blue ivy the next one is jay-z on the other hand can't get enough of his new daughter and is obsessed with her looks he doesn't want her to look like him at all he thinks it will ruin her. Jay-Z is very insecure about his looks after hearing he is ugly all his life and even hearing it from his own wife. Beyonce is a heavy drinker. She has done, you know, hard drugs before, but not frequently. She smokes the trees from time to time. Jay-Z's true love is a woman from Brooklyn. He still visits and takes care of her, but they do not have a sexual relationship. Kathy White had threatened to reveal her relationship with Jay-Z, and that's why she was unalive. Then little more than 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant. Then he repeats what was said in the beginning of the blog that um, Jay-Z unalive Kathy White because she threatened to go public with their relationship. This happened 48 hours after, after the announcement of their expectancy of having a child. And then the Kathy White mysteriously, mysteriously died. SK goes on to say, this is legit tea, but people are not believing it because of who it is about. It's sad. That's how Beyonce and Jay-Z will never fall from the top. Too many gullible people out here worshiping them. And then I found the obituary of Kathy White. I will not read it, but I will attach that as well to the description. All right. Uh, when I find something else to um, talk about to possibly help uncover these Hollywood secrets that have been hidden too long, I will bring it to you guys, along with the history of black folks in this country. OK, I will be shutting down the shop for the final time tonight and I will see you again in the next video. Take care.